Okay, so where are we today? Well, we are here, Bright Meadow Caravan Park, which is a little caravan park just off the A14, just past Bury St Edmunds, as you go up the A14 east towards Ipswich and Felixstowe. There's the address. We're in Thurston, which is Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. The actual website is Bright Meadow Caravan Park. Um, dot co dot uk easy website check it out see if they've got any availability and get it booked if this is the type of site for you we're going to do a quick wander around see what the site is like and then well you make up your own mind let's go and have a look so here we are at the entrance of Bright Meadow Caravan Park. It's a good entrance, a good wide entrance. Gives you plenty of room to get in and out. Lots of turning space when you're coming off the road. Thurston is down there and literally a couple of hundred yards up there is the A14. There's the entrance board, hard standing pitches, open here all round, free Wi-Fi. And it is free Wi-Fi, we've logged on. We've managed to get Spotify, caravan and motorhome storage, brightmeadowcaravanpark.co.uk. Let's move in and have a look. Now, for some of you may recognise this, this used to be called The Dell. And uh, it's now called Bright Meadow. I think it's changed hands. You can hear the birds singing. How lovely is that? Lots of trees, so I should imagine in the summer, it's going to look very, very sort of lush. We're here in January, so it won't be quite the same feel. You've got lots of fields around you. Um, we were looking at the uh, the hares on the top of that field earlier. And when I say hares, I'm talking about March hares. They were literally at the top. I don't know whether we'll see any more. Um, we hope we can see a couple up there still now. Let's wander over and have a look. Um, about 50 pitches on this site. So it's quite a large site, a large independent site. Um, yes, yeah, sorry about that wind. Let's see, I don't know if we can see. Hairs, no, we won't catch them on there, but there's some uh, big old hairs up there that have been scrapping all afternoon. Obviously vying for the attention of some ladies. So what we've got, all hard standing pitches, um, lots of them said for January. The site is very, very full, uh, really good facilities, lovely reception, really nice warm welcome, which is always a positive when you've been traveling and you want to uh, get settled and pitched up. So let's carry on having a wander around. Okay, we'll just start off in the uh, gents facilities. Immaculate, you can't say any more really. Everything is clean, spotless, well looked after. You know, 10 out of 10 guys, you do a good job and you make sure that everybody's looked after when they're on site. Absolutely brilliant, thank you very much. And I'm sure everybody who stays here appreciates all that hard work. Here we are in the showers. So we've got a few shower cubicles, good size. You've got a stool, plenty of room to undress and dry yourself. So this is the gen, so you've got three shower cubicles in here. All looking, again, pristine and really, really pucker, I think is the word. So well done, 10 out of 10 for that. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Just want to show you this. We've got some good disabled facilities here. So a really good shower space. There we go. Good size area, lots of turning space. So if you are in a wheelchair, this really is going to be quite helpful for you guys. Low level sink there. Again, spotless, very, very clean. And you've got a little hairdryer there that you can use as well. So really good. Excellent first class, big tick for disabled facilities. Laundry room, 
can't go wrong with this. Tumble dryers, washing machines, a couple of each sitting there. You've obviously got the pay as you go slots there. Um, and it looks it's have some load, take longer than two pounds. So be careful. Um, could be two or three pounds for a load of washing. So washing machines there and a sink there if you want to do any hand washing. So again, a big tick for the laundry facilities. Well done. Here's your washroom. So as you would expect, you've got a little bit of side working area there. You've got sinks, you've got one either side. Plenty of room to do your washing up of your pots and pans. Because of COVID, they're asking only one person at a time. But yeah, lots of room, very clean, absolutely spotless. Um, again, another big tick. Well done, Bright Meadow. So walking through the site, you've got some pretty big pitches. So they're pretty good, good size, lots of them. Um, and they're scattered around the site. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, there are a lot of vans on this site. And I think that is a big pointer for what type of site this is, considering this is January. They class themselves as a touring site, but we've only seen four or five touring pitches out of the 50 that they say they have. Now that says to me that most of these are seasonal and it does also look as if some people are living on the site as well. That's not a problem, I don't have an issue with that. I'm just trying to let you know the type of site this is. That's some friends of ours that we've uh, come to down here for the weekend. Now, if you're looking for a seasonal pitch or a site where you can sort of spend some long term, then this could be it. Give it a call find out if there's anywhere available and uh, get booked in and, and settle down. If that's not the type of thing that you want and you're looking for more for a touring pitch and to kick back and have it a bit of peace and quiet, I don't think this is going to be the pitch for you. But having said that, it's close to Newmarket. So if you want to come here for the Newmarket races and stop over for the night, it's great. It's perfect for a stopover on the way to um, Felixstowe to Harwich to Ipswich over in the background there you can see some cars moving that's the A14 so it's not particularly quiet but if you just want that stopover and you want a bolt hole good place to come for a night if you're looking for somewhere a little bit more long term speak to the owners and see what they've got available because obviously they're very flexible like that it's not necessarily for us if we were going to come here for a week's holiday i don't think we'd choose it but there again you know we'd be looking for something a little bit different so this is this this is us um we're all set up we're here for a couple of nights um i hope that's been a good review and an honest review um, I don't want to say anything sort of disparaging about the site because it is a good site. It's got perfect 10 out of 10 facilities. Um, and there are sites for everybody around the country, whether you're workers or you want a long-term pitch because you decide you want to go and live in your caravan for six months or 12 months, then why not? You know, there's got to be sites like that that can offer it. But again, it's a couple of touring pitches and we've got two of them for tonight. I hope that's okay. I hope that's been honest. Please, please, please give us a thumbs up if you feel that is an honest review and it's been of help. And please hit that red button and subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more of these little things we can bring you. And hopefully we can give you some more honest reviews of some other little sites dotted around the local Suffolk, Norfolk area as well. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everybody, and bye for now.